This video is sponsored by my favorite website creator, Squarespace, the best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a gorgeous website or an online store. I don't know, I feel like cold weather can really be the death of like style and feeling inspired about your outfits because when it's cold, we more or less wear the same thing non-stop, which is the warmest coat we have, right? So I've been thinking of sort of how to get the most out of your wardrobe, even when it's cold, so that we can use a bigger portion of our clothes all year round. So to get out of that warmest coat that we own, I was thinking that we could instead use two of our other jackets to make layers. A blazer or like a crop jacket or a denim jacket underneath a trench coat. How are we feeling about it? I think this look is so good. It kind of reminds me of the 90s Manhattan yuppies, you know? The oversized shouldered suits underneath an even more oversized trench. Very like 90s detective TV show, don't you think? So not only is this look good for, you know, warmth, but it's also, if you ask me, super hot and looks so like professional and put together. Power dressing for sure. Okay, another thing I do every year since leaving Sweden, because, well, London is like tropical compared to Stockholm, is that I use my heaviest, fluffiest sweater as outerwear. It needs to be bloody big though, because to be warm enough, I will either wear it with a lightweight jacket underneath or with like another super fluffy sweater. Okay, to get really cold proof, I think that the best layering order is to do a vest plus a thin turtleneck or top, plus a medium thick jumper, plus a sweater or lightweight jacket, and then the super fluffy sweater. If you do it this way, it's even warm enough for Stockholm, I'm pretty sure. Especially if you wear it with like a maxi skirt and thick leggings or tights to sort of trap as much warm air around you as possible. Yes, okay, I know I'm a total Scandinavian cliche with this next one, but it's just so pretty. The turtleneck underneath a shirt look. I don't think I would be welcome back into Sweden if I didn't add this look to the list today. So, for the other looks, instead of your warmest coat, I've used other lightweight outerwear or heavy sweaters. For this one, I thought we'd try using even thinner tops to create that beautiful, but still like toasty outfit. So I've been thinking of our French press or like, you know, those glass coffee and tea mugs to keep the water hotter for longer, where there's like a layer of air in between two layers of glass. You know what I mean? And also way back in the day when I was still a teen, I used to work extra shifts in a shoe shop. And I was taught that, especially for winter shoes, to go for a shoe size big enough to leave like a pocket of air around your foot. And that it's actually warmer to use a thinner sock that leaves air than a thick sock that makes everything sort of tight in there because the air is what keeps you warm. So even with like thinner tops, as long as you have enough layers where you can trap air, you'll stay warm even in quite chilly temperatures. So a thicker turtleneck with a normal shirt will actually be warmer than it looks. And of course, this can be combined with the blazer trench coat look for a kind of super combination of pretty layers. Now I'm going to have to pull rank and say that an upbringing in Sweden will for sure mean that I have some cold weather expertise. And the one thing I remember from being a kid, when you're like out building eagles in the snow, is that horrible feeling of exposed skin. You know when the mitten sort of scooted down so that your wrist was out, or if there was a gap like between your scarf and your coat collar? It's just so not on. So even as an adult, I'm always thinking of this before I go out in cold weather to sort of mind the gaps, no pun intended, anywhere where there might be exposed skin, like neck, wrists, ankles, stomach, or lower back, I will be so thorough when I'm getting dressed. So I will always make sure to have like an inner layer, like a vest that I tuck into my trousers so there's no cold air kind of gushing up under my sweater onto my skin. And I'm such a huge fan of tights or long johns under my trousers and wearing socks that I can pull up and tuck my tights into. Or like a thin scarf that I can tuck into my collar. I mean, you see where I'm going with this? I feel like this has now become like the theme of this whole video. How to trap warm air in and keep cold air out. Kind of like a thermos. So, you know, sometimes when I post outfit reels on Insta in wintertime, I'll get comments like, oh, that would be way too cold for me to wear this time of year. But actually, I'm such a coldy person. Like my hands are always tiny shards of ice. I've just become like quite good at layering. Life's too short to walk around shivering. I always want to be nice and toasty and I don't want to like sacrifice comfort for fashion. If there are any other coldy people out there, you'll know what I mean. It's just so not worth it. Oh, I really goddamn hate feeling cold. It is the worst. 
Anyway, which of these looks is your favorite? Give me a thumb if you thought this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So did you sort of get any ideas for this on how to use a bigger portion of your wardrobe even in cold weather? Did I miss anything? Do you have any other tricks for this time of year? Please share with the group. We need all the help we can get, don't we? Do you want to create a beautiful site? Maybe start your own blog? If so, you should definitely do it with Squarespace. They have great blogging tools to share your stories, photos and videos to make it easy to reach your audience. You can also auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr and simply schedule your posts for them to be properly tagged and the descriptions and titles will show up correctly. You can of course add your social media accounts to your site so that it's easy for your readers to find you everywhere. Squarespace also have great traffic analytics so that you can see how many people are visiting your site, how long they're staying for, where they're coming from and what they're interested in like fashion or photography or maybe books for example. So what are you waiting for? Go get your free trial today at squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Mustard to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay signing off now thank you so much for watching today see you soon. Peace, peace.